Okay, so now we're on to the second discrete distribution, a Poisson, and it is discrete, for sure, discrete, and it's named after a French guy. Um, a Poisson is similar to the binomial, but here are the conditions for a Poisson. Again, we have a success or failure, it has to happen. The probabilities from trial to trial are always the same, so the events are independent. But this time it's a constant rate, or an interval, or, or over an area. So here, let me give you an example. Here we have an operator on the phone. Let's say on average she gets uh, five calls per 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Okay, and so this is a rate. This average five calls per 10 minutes is a rate. And so if we're going to say what's the probability of her getting seven calls in the 10 minutes, that would be a Poisson scenario. So there's a rate that is apparent. Another possible example could be my angelfish here. Imagine that there are three angelfish in, uh, in one cubic meter of water. Okay, so then it could be what's the probability that there are exactly four angelfish in a meter of water. So uh, again, so this is a rate of an area or an interval of some kind, and that defines a probability distribution or a Poisson distribution. From our formula booklet, we know that x is a Poisson with m as our parameter, which is the mean, and this is a formula that calculates it. The variance is also the same as the expected value, which is an interesting phenomenon. So I'm going to steal this for later. And let's move on to a problem. Read the problem. See what you can do. Okay, so we have our zebras. And one in per square kilometer is 800 zebras. Lots of zebras. Given the number of Zebras follows a Poisson. Well, that's helpful to know it's Poisson. Find the probability that there are 750 zebras. Well, with every probability question, we must first define our variable. So I'm going to call zebras belong to Poisson distribution. And the parameter for Poisson is going to be 800, the average number. And that's what M is. And so A, we want probability that Z is equal to exactly 750. Well, to do it, I could take this value here, I know, and plug it into here, 800 to the 750 times E to the minus 800 over 750 factorial. I can throw this in my calculator, and it will blow up. It can't do this. So, but I could also go to my calculator, Again, go to my distributions. I'm going to go to Poisson PDF. My parameter is 800. And I'm looking for 750 exactly. And my probability of this happening is 0 0.00295. The three significant figures. Moving along with this problem. Let's consider when we have now less than 780 zebras. So in this case, we're looking for the probability that there are less, that z is less, oh, less, that's greater than, less than 780. Well, the way the Poisson works in the calculator, I can't actually go up to 780. That's the same thing as saying Z is less than or equal to 779. Okay, so because it's less, than, I'm not allowed to have 780, I have to have less. So using this, going to my calculator, distributions again to the Poisson, cumulative, because I'm going to add up a whole bunch of them. And this is 800, this is 779, enter it, and now I know that there's a 0 
0.235 chance of having 779 zebras or less in a one kilometer area, square kilometer area. That's B. C part, I want to find the probability that Z is bigger than 820. Well, with our cumulative distributions, it starts at zero, so I have to go one minus the probability that Z is less than or equal to 820. Plug this into the calculator. One minus the Poisson distribution cumulative 800 and then 820. And I get 0 0.233. And so if this was an IB question, the fact that I had defined it here as uh, 800, this would be full marks. This is all the work you have to show.